ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Lawrence. I'm your host, Pat Brock. I'm the Public Information Officer for Lawrence County Schools. And when I tell you that our young people have been tearing it up on the mounds, this summer. We've got our middle schoolers here that are representing not just Lawrence County Schools, but you've got Mossy Creek, you've got Johnson County, and you've got Trinity. These young boys are state champions. And we've got the coaches here that have led them to it all. How are you doing, guys? Doing good. Oh, Lord, we got a Major League Baseball player here, Brian Millette. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing good. Now, when you think about this here, I mean, this is a big deal for our youth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. A lot of kids don't get this opportunity, so awesome for our community. For sure. And we've got Kyle Shepard himself. Hey, Kyle. Hey. Now, listen, you guys have coached this team. I mean, this is considered one of the all-star teams, right? It is. Share with the people a little bit about the team and the dynamics of it and what this uh, league is about. And, of course, what, ha what took place this summer for you all being state champions and now traveling to Louisiana for the World Series. Well, a lot of the boys have been with us since they were seven, eight years old. We started in rec leagues here with them through Dudley and Dublin here. And a lot of them played travel ball with me and Brian for the last probably four years. And then we decided this year to kind of put some of the kids that have been with us a while into Brian and them's rec department here and see if we couldn't win district and go and win state. And we was able to accomplish that and take these boys out of Louisiana now. So we're pretty excited. You know, this is a big deal for our community. You know, our youth do wonderful things, not just in the classroom, but of course also out on those fields, in those, you know, in those gyms, doing this wonderful work here. And here it is. You're a legend, right, Brian? I don't know about yeah. legend. <laughs> Yeah. I don't legend. know about legends. So but, you uh, are a local legend. I mean, you and I have had this chat many times through the years about yourself, of course, as an athlete, and now coaching these young people. Talk to us about that process and what that's been like for you. Again, for our community to have some kids that are getting this opportunity to do this, um, you know, I didn't get this opportunity. I'm sure Kyle didn't and some of these other people didn't. But, again, for our community and for our parents to get behind this and back this, um, what, what better experience? For sure, for so. sure. And I kind of differentiate a little bit. Tell us to what uh, the all-star team here as opposed to legacy, because just talking uh, with the director a little earlier, there's so many different teams that are represented and so many young people that are involved. And a lot of what Brian and doing legacy is more of your travel baseball, which mm -hmm. a lot of us went to that, but the Dixie youth is through the rec department, and that's mm -hmm. kind of you can still have a lot of kids who don't play a lot of baseball. It starts there at the um, – at the level when we sign up, it's, a, it's just a lot of kids from all over the county. Some don't play as much as others, but they come and play, and they select an all-star team off of that. And that's the group that we have here that one state with here to move on with. And now y'all are going down to Cajun country, Louisiana. I mean, you know, the road to the World Series. Now, when you talk about their competition that they've had this summer, leading them to this state championship, what was the competition like? And where do these players and these teams come from? Um, I know Troop was part of the, you know, part of the group that we had to beat to get get to this. Um, I thought they were really good. I thought they had a really good team. Um, again, we're blessed from a community standpoint to have some some good athletes. So. And, you know, these are all feeder programs, ladies and gentlemen. I talk about that often when young people play uh, sports outside of the actual school themselves. These feeder programs playing young people who are, have the gifts and talents that they may not necessarily see on their regular season roster. And now here they are. This is that great experience. And that's going to segue into through middle school and through high school. Do you see that happening? It is. A lot of these kids, I mean, we say it all the time, but these middle school programs are going to inherit a lot of really good baseball players. Yeah. These kids haven't just played a year or two. They've played six, seven years of baseball. So when we hand them off to these middle school coaches, the idea is that they have pretty good baseball players. And for that, we thank you, <laughs> especially with Lawrence County Schools. Now, what can we expect? You all are going to be having the send-off in a little bit and, of course, traveling to Louisiana. And so you're having to really prepare these young people because you're, you're now this is truly the big leagues. Uh, what, what is to be expected? What are you all doing to make sure that they are ready for these games? Well, first and foremost, it's a game. Um, you know, for us to go out there and have a good experience, again, some of these kids, this, they will never get this opportunity ever again. So for us, to, for these kids to have a good time and get that, you know, to experience that, because really going out and playing different kids from all over the, the country or the southeast really doesn't happen unless you go to college and play baseball or go play some sport in college. This is a great opportunity for our kids and our community. 
And, you know, I feel like I'm a baseball mom myself. That's just so exciting. Like, we're, I think that as a community, embracing this, how big this is for the community, and really seeing all the parents and the, the community members who are rallying behind these kids and, and giving them that support that they need, that's kind of like a little extra boost, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, tell us how this is going to go when they get to Louisiana. Who are they playing first? How is the, you know, how is that whole uh, tier process in, in getting to the World Series? So the, the bracket will set up as a double elimination bracket, but the day we get there, we'll have what they'll have kind of like a pool game to set the bracket. So the first game won't go against us, win or lose, but it'll kind of lay the brackets out for us. But once we get into the uh, the bracket play, you lose twice, you go home. So, you know, you win, you stick around. So now is this the first time you all have made it this far? Uh, in, in this situation, yes. Me and Brian have done some things with some travel stuff and played some big stuff, but this is the first time on this level that we've done this with, with these kids. And, you know, I noticed that you all are now Georgia because you're representing Georgia, and so that means all these teams coming together from all over the state. What better color to have than, you know. But, you know, again, this is the first time the uh, Recreation Department's had a team go this far. Mm -hmm. With GRPA, we've usually stopped at state. This was part of Jordy's vision, um, you know, for this to go, and it happened. Kudos to Jordy because he, sure. he was a big part of this. For sure. All right, is there anything else you'd like to share with us and the people out there of Dublin Lawrence County to kind of give them a little more information about this team, about the process, and what's next? I think a lot of our parents will have the clips and stuff on Facebook that they can go to, and there will be a lot of links that they can watch these games right. live out there. And, and as you was talking about, our, par our parents are awesome. We have people, I mean, honestly, they – Anything I've ever asked from those group of people that are with us, they, they get it done. They're truly bulldogs, get, aren't they? I just get the coach. I get the coach, and my mamas <laughs> handle it top to bottom, and they, we have a great group of people. We yeah. sports mom. We don't play the radio, yeah, they, honey. They like we, they don't play. I when we <laughs> say one or two things, and then women, they all get it done. That's right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach Millette? No, ma'am. Again, just really thankful for our community, small town, Dublin, Georgia, getting this opportunity to go out and play in Louisiana. Great, for sure. great for our kids. For sure. Well, congratulations to you guys. Thank you so much for how you pour into these young people. Are you about to interview these kids a little bit? I'm about to. Is that's, that okay that's with gonna you? That's going to be interesting now. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I might have to monitor a little oh bit of that. Oh, my gosh. We've already had our talking to, yeah. so we'll see how that goes. But thank you both so much for what you do. And, of course, you have another coach as well. Who is that? want to make sure I give, give a shout-out to him. Tim Howell. Tim Howell. Thank you guys so much for how you pour into these young people. And they are on the road, ladies and gentlemen, to Louisiana. It's summertime here in Dublin, Georgia, and that means hot dogs, apple pie, and GM trucks. With bigger inventory and more incentives, there's not a better time to buy a new GMC or Chevy truck. Save up to $10,000 off MSRP on Silverados and Sierras at Dublin Chevrolet. And the deals aren't just on trucks. With a great selection of crossovers and Tahoes and Yukons, we've got it all. And don't forget to ask about our full line of EVs, highlighted by the Hummer EV. That's Dublin Chevrolet. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's your opportunity to meet these state champions. Let them tell you all about themselves, things that they're involved in, their families, and what it means for them, for one, not only to be state champions, but to be going to Louisiana for the World Series. How are you doing, fellas? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. You too. All right, now listen, are you ready to chat with me? Yes, ma'am. All right, all go right. for it, son. All right, my name is Gus Reagan. I go to Johnson County Middle School. I'm going to seventh grade. My parents' names are... Justin and Stephanie Reagan. My two sports are baseball and football, and I play quarterback. You're the quarterback. Man, you're the yes, man with the plan. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And what position are you here at baseball? Um, really, wherever they need me. Oh, my gosh. So you can do it all. Yes, ma'am. So if you had to choose one sport, Gus, what oh. would it be? Well, I don't know if I could do that. Oh, my oh. gosh. You'd be torn, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. And how does it feel for you to be a state champion? It feels great. I feel like I've never had this opportunity before, and it's just great to do this. And now here you are. Yes, ma'am. Did you ever think this would ever happen? Uh, no, ma'am, not really. It's but look at you. You're making yeah. history, Gus. <laughs> well, it's just good to see. Just good. It is. Now, are you an only child, or do you have siblings? No, ma'am. I have a little brother. His name's Hatcher. Oh, now, is Hatcher a little athlete like you? 
He is. He oh sure is. Oh, my gosh. He's going to have some big shoes to fill, isn't he? <laughs> he is. All right. All right, young man. Good to see you. You too. You and I go way back, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Now, this is your chance to tell us all about you, okay, and your family and what you got going on. Yes, ma'am. Go for it. Uh, my name is Tyler Howell. I go to West Lawrence Middle School. I'm going to seventh grade. I play uh, three sports, football, baseball, and wrestling. My parents are Kim and Tim Howell, and my sister's name is Brooke Howell. Now, Tyler, you are truly a triple threat. You've got three sports that you play? Yes, ma'am. Now, which one is completely, truly your favorite? Uh, pro it's probably going to be football. Football. What position are you in football? Running back and outside linebacker. Look at you. You're pretty quick, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. And what about baseball? What position are you? Uh, all outfield and pitcher. you got a good arm, don't you? Yes, ma'am. How's your sister doing? She's doing good. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, Tyler, for you, this is big, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, when you all won that last game and became state champions, what was that feeling like? It, I was uh, very happy. We were all celebrating. Like how you're excited right now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and, you know, this is big. So you're going to Louisiana. I mean, you're playing some other school, some other team from, the, from another state. Are you nervous about that, or you got that just adrenaline running that you're just ready for it? Adrenaline. Mm-hmm. You ready for it? I can tell you're excited. Yes, ma'am. It's on the inside, like deep down. Right. All right, boys. Now, so here it is. You guys play all you play different sports and this one isn't even your main sport. Yes, ma'am. You guys must be dangerous on that football field. I mean, I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And so listen, guys. So when you think about, you know, playing sports outside of school and here it is, you playing with the, the 12 U, D1, the Dixie, the Diamond Squad, all stars. How do you see this helping you? when you're playing for the team, for your school itself? How has this helped you? Uh, it's helped me because I've got more work in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like you're not just vegging over the summer. You yeah. put, you're working. How has it helped you? Right, like Tyler said, just getting more work than a lot of my teammates, a lot of other players. Mm -hmm. and it's just great to outwork people, you know, and just stay on the top. Mm -hmm. You clearly, you, you're outworking people, baby. You staying on top. <laughs> and now you guys are getting ready to go to the to Cajun country. Have you been to Louisiana before? No, ma'am, I have not. Ooh, it's going to be different, okay? <laughs> These little southern twangs you got, they're going to be, hey, boy, what you talking about? <laughs> All right? You're going to be ready for it, though, right? Yes, now, listen, what message do you want to say to your, your school? So you got teams, you play on, other t on your school team. What do you want to say to those guys? Because they're going to watch this and like, look at these two right here. They're tearing. What do you want to say to them? Um, you'll get here one day. <laughs> <laughs> this could be you one day. I mean, work hard. Maybe, maybe not, right? Just yeah, just keep working. Mm -hmm. Keep working, West Lawrence Middle School. You may be here one day, right? Yeah. Well, listen, congratulations to you guys both. We're so very proud of you, okay? We're so very proud. Win, lose, or draw, you guys are champions. And I love the way that you're, you're putting your all into the game, all right? Yes, ma'am. Can't wait to Thank see you. you. Thank you. you Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyler. And this right here come all the way from Johnson County. Yes, got it. Thanks, boys. You know, it feels nice to be able to talk with some state champions here. These young men are doing it big. And we've got two more with us that are going to share with us all about themselves. Hey, fellas. Hey. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. How are you? you? Oh, you've got a battle scar there, I see. Yes, ma'am. Basically. <laughs> all right, now, listen, this is your opportunity to share with us. Are y'all ready? Yes, We're going to start with you. You ready? Go for it, yes, son. My name is Sutton Lewis, and I go to Johnson County Middle School. I play baseball and football. And my parents are Sarah Lewis and Marshall Lewis. You don't call them by the first names in real life, right? No, ma'am. <laughs> just checking, Sutton, just checking. Now, are you an only child or you got other siblings? No, ma'am. I have two siblings. I have a younger sister named Addie Lane Lewis, and mm -hmm. then I have an older sister named Bailey Lewis. So, Sutton, you're the middle child. Yes, ma'am. The middle child state champion. Yes, ma'am. Now, so you play more than one sport? Yes, ma'am. Which one's your main sport? Baseball. Okay, nice, nice. Now, how does this feel? This feels great. Oh. This is a good opportunity to show out for Georgia. you showing out, baby. And now you're getting ready to go to Louisiana for the World Series. Did you ever think something like this would happen? No, ma'am. I never saw that. And look at you. You about to go down there with that southern drawl and everything, son. You're going out there to play some serious baseball. What position are you? I'm a catcher, and I play a little bit of right field. So you got some good quads and a good arm. Yes, ma'am. Basic. All right, here he's son. Talk to us. 
I'm Bentley Williams. I go to West Lawrence Middle School. I'm in seventh grade. Um, my parents are Jessica and Jamie Williams. I have an older sister named Bree Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, I play baseball, football, and wrestling. Um, you are busy. Yes, ma'am. Now, do you have a main sport? Uh, I like baseball. Okay, very good. Now, for you, is it is it different for you all playing on your school team as opposed to playing for this team? Yes, ma'am. What's different about it? We don't like travel as much as we do in travel ball. Mm -hmm. Now, how does this help you be a better player by playing with this league? You get to be seen more, and mm -hmm. it's really fun, too. You like com you like competition, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Now, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I'm just asking, do you all talk trash when you're out there on the field? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You're going to have to talk some trash in Louisiana. Uh, you yes, ma'am. You have to trash talk. Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to trash talk at all? Yes, ma'am. I know you do. I've witnessed it. I've witnessed it. And so, you know, guys, like this is truly a big deal because when you play summer, I mean, you guys haven't really had a break at all, have you? No, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. How do you discipline yourself? Because you've got to be, you've got to be on top. Of, are you on top of, like, all your, your eating, your exercise, your discipline, like getting enough rest? Yes, ma'am. All right. Training and stuff like that. You work out and stuff? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, um, going to Louisiana, are you nervous at all about this? or? Uh, no, ma'am. You ready for it, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. You're like, I can take it, whatever it is. Yes, ma'am. What are you most excited about with this here? I'm just ready to get out there and play against some good teams, oh get some competition. God. This is going to be exciting. And as we're looking out in our studio audience, it is filled with your mamas and your papas. You know, having that support system there, having your moms and your dad support you, what does that mean for you? I know that they love me and they care for me. Mm -hmm. What all do your parents do to get you ready to be on top of your game? What, what do they, or do you even know what all they do? A lot. <laughs> Spoken like a true son. And for you, having your parents and your family out there supporting you, how does that make you feel? And does that help you be a better player? Yes, ma'am. They do a lot for me, and I'm very grateful for that. You tear it up when they're out there, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Now, let me ask you this now. Don't look at your parents, but do your parents get loud? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, which yes, one's the loudest, your mom, your dad? Or My dad. God to mighty. Does he embarrass you at times? Sometimes. I figured as much. What about you? Who's my allowed? mom, definitely. Oh, my gosh. She acts a fool, don't she? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, they can't help it. Yes, ma'am. They cannot help it. See, that's their love going, okay? When your mom is out there screaming and yelling, it's all love, okay? You, you get, a little, get a little embarrassed at times. Oh, definitely. This message is to all the moms and dads out there. Y'all, simmer just a little bit for these kids, okay? <laughs> They can't help it, son. This is a big deal. You're going to Louisiana. You're playing for the World Series. Now, if if you win, is it going to change you at all? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're going to be acting, walking on your tippy toes when you get back to school, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And with all of this, all of this excitement, all of, you know, with the, the crowd, everybody's all eyes on you, you know, do you, do you take it all in stride or do you kind of, you don't let it get to your head, do you? No, ma'am. I don't let it really get in my head. Yeah, that's how you stay focused, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, listen, we're excited about you guys. We're excited about what this means for you all. And we see that this is truly helping you all. You know, when in the game of sports, it's not only helping you to become better athletes, but it's helping you to be better people, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And I see it. And doing shows like this and being able to talk about what you do and why you do it and why you love it so much, that's helping you as well. Yes, ma'am. All right, fellas. Well, congratulations to you both. And we're so proud of what you've already accomplished and what is yet to come. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Oh, this is tough. Really tough. Tough? I'll give you tough. No, we meant that's tough. Oh, that's too tough even for me. You need, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Just file a claim on the app or call us. Thanks. So do you ever yeah. take that mask off? Not even for my wedding.
Oh, she looked so happy. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Um, my name is Jack Walker. I'm the chairman of the, of the Dublin Lawrence County Recreation Authority. And I have the real honor and privilege of representing the rec department today uh, in, in, uh, in this little ceremony. But what I really wanted to say is that from our perspective, first of all, I, I know, you know, I want to thank the parents, the grandparents, the brothers and sisters, um, all of the family that rallies around these guys to make this happen. You, you guys are huge because that's a real sacrifice. It's a sacrifice for everybody, especially y'all. And you really step up and you make, y'all made this thing happen for your boys. And, and, and it just makes the rec department in Dublin and Lawrence County look great. Uh, and so not just on the behalf of the rec department, but really on the behalf of our community, of just being somebody in our community, we are so proud of these boys and what they've accomplished. This is a, I mean, y'all all know, we all know this is like a, this has never happened. And so it's such a special, really a special thing and I really, really want to tell y'all how proud the whole community is of you guys. And we're going to be watching this as much as we can. Like, everybody's following it. So, you guys, if I don't know how this thing is getting broadcast other than Facebook, and live, and that kind of thing. But y'all got to keep it going for us because we're not there. And we want to watch. We want to be a part of it. So, uh, thank you for that. I'm going to call out each boy's name, and they're going to come up. Uh, they're going to kind of meet here behind me and, and get a, a gift bag. So, uh, Cannon Millette, number two, West Lawrence Middle School. Seventh grade pitcher in first base. Next is Bryce Shepard, number seven, West Lawrence Middle School. Seventh grade, shortstop, center field, and pitcher. Next is Gus Reagan, Johnson County Middle School. Seventh grade, positions third base, first base, outfield, and pitcher. Jasper Dean, number 13. Trinity Christian School, seventh grader, position is second base and pitcher. Tyler Howell, number six. West Lawrence Middle, seventh grade, outfield and pitcher. Sutton Lewis, number 31. Johnson County Middle School, seventh grade. Catcher, utility, infielder, and outfielder. Bentley Williams, number eight. West Lawrence Middle, seventh grade. Middle infielder and pitcher. Bryson Sutton, number 16. West Lawrence Middle School, eighth grade, pitcher and outfielder. Colt Montgomery, number 22. Mossy Creek Middle School, eighth grade, third pitcher and catcher. Cohen McCoy, number four, East Lawrence Middle School. Seventh grade, catcher, left field and second base. Christopher Brown, number three, last but not least. West Lawrence Middle, seventh grade, third center field pitcher and utility player. Boys, congratulations. Our entire community and communities just outside of us, where, these, where your other boys are, are from, we're all so proud of you guys, and we're going to be watching. Um, hello. Thank you all for coming. We're so excited to celebrate this moment with our boys. Such a huge achievement. Um, and so I want to give a shout out to my husband, Brian. <laughs> Uh, he deserves a round of applause because he truly cares about this community. He cares so much about these boys um, and he's put so much of his time to provide our youth as many opportunities as possible in sports and recreation. So kudos. Also, huge thanks to the staff um, and the team at the rec department for their tireless dedication to the community and children as well and our coaches. Y'all have made a huge sacrifice pouring into these boys, so everybody, round of applause. So, um, I wanted to take this moment to speak into your lives. I don't often have this uh, privilege with everybody here. Um, and so, I wanted to take this moment to encourage you, to allow you to self-reflect, remind you to never put limits on yourself. 
Muhammad Ali said once, champions are made in gems. Uh, champions aren't made in gems. Champions are made from something they have deep inside of them, a desire, a dream, a vision. They have a skill and the will, but the will must be stronger than the skill. So in other words, champions don't just show up to get everything they want. They show up to give everything they have. Excuse me, I have a gnat in my mouth. Uh, champions are champions because they master the art of never giving up. I think this is so important. You must have a deep sense of purpose to achieve great things in life. Your will to succeed must be greater than any adversity. It is important to remember that conflict and adversity are inevitable. Challenge is inevitable. How are you going to rise up when faced with adversity? And what will you do? What are the things you are not willing to sacrifice, such as your integrity, your values? These must always stand the test of time. What excuses do you keep making? Are your thoughts disciplined? See, your words, your conversations, your thoughts, they either bring life and success or death and failure. Proverbs tells us death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who have it will eat its fruit. Proverbs also reminds us in the ways of righteousness is life and its pathway, there is no death. How you speak to others, as well as how you own your thoughts and self-talk, they can either bring life or death. They can bring success or failure. I want to challenge you to master the art of self-discipline, controlling every thought, taking it captive, speak only what you want to give life to. Champions take full responsibility, win or lose. They seize every opportunity, win or lose. Champions never introduce failure into their thoughts and minds. So remember, spend less time making excuses. Ask yourself what, <clears throat> ask yourself what excuses you continue to make and what limiting beliefs are you continuing to believe about yourself. It's time to surrender them and arise to your full potential. God didn't design you to be average. You were created in the image of God. It's time to get up and grind and walk in your purpose and align that purpose with God's will. To be the best version of yourself is to continually seek God's will in your life, seek higher achievements, and continue to set bigger and bigger goals and do all this for the glory of our Heavenly Father. Greatness is created. You, therefore, greatness is within you, and you must never forget this. Remember, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Therefore, do not be of this world. Be champions for all of those who may never have the opportunity to compete. I'm talking about my little Lemmy here. And be champions for Christ. Now let's win a championship. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hand this off to uh, Spence. It's going to close us out in a prayer, and then you boys get ready to rally, okay? Well, good evening. My name is Spence Lovett. I'm the area director here of FCA, and on behalf of our staff, I want to say thank you for the privilege to come and pray over these uh, young men, and, and congratulations on this huge accomplishment. And I know it's kind of hard to hear, so I'm, I'm going to invite the guys. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. You guys are about to go into battle, right? And you know what happens in battle, right? Adversity, just like Miss Millette said, all right? This road, this journey you're on is not going to be easy, right? But if you would take some of the scriptures she, heard, or she read y'all, all right, apply them this week and ultimately and realize who you're representing this week, all right? You have a community behind you. Our community right here in, in middle Georgia. I know everybody's not here from Dublin, and that's awesome. All right, you got something on your jersey. Who is that? Right? But ultimately, those of you that are followers of Jesus Christ, you're ultimately representing him. All right? And y'all have an opportunity this week to go and glorify him. And I want to encourage you to keep that in your mind 
Now, winning is important. Don't get me wrong and don't hear me wrong on this, but it's not the most important, right? I got a verse that God kind of gave me, Philippians 2, 5, make your own attitude that of Jesus Christ. And if anybody knows who Jesus Christ was, what kind of attitude did he carry? Greatness. Greatness. Love. Joy. Perfect, right? The perfect sacrifice. So I encourage you to carry this banner of Dublin, Lawrence County, Georgia, into this World Series. And just like Miss Millette said, go win a World Series. God didn't give us a, a spirit. He loves competition. Don't lay down. Go out there and fight. But make sure you fight with a great attitude and an honoring and respect. Because when things get hard, don't turn on your teammate. Encourage them. Lift them up. All right? So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come to you tonight thanking you for so many blessings. Lord, for this journey these young men and their families are on. Lord, they have so much to be thankful for so far of how you bless them. And Lord, as they get ready to take the roads over to Louisiana, I pray, pray, I pray a hedge of protection over them. Lord, for safe, safe travels. Lord, for logistics, no issues with vehicles. Lord, we pray for rooming situations, just no, no distractions, outside distractions, so they can focus on going into battle and winning these baseball games. And Father God, I pray as they're over there that there will be a light that just, just shines because they're carrying your name and your banner. And they'll use this opportunity to glorify you even in the struggles and even in the winds. Lord, I pray that you'll uh, be with all those other competing as well. And uh, again, their whole time that they're there, we ask that your blessing be over them. And no matter what happens, we have so much to be thankful for and that you have given us blessings every day we wake up. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.